And again, LAX expecting up to three and a half million people to fly in and out of the airport over the holidays. And as we just heard from Artina Patel, this is going to be their yep. busiest travel period of the year. And joining us this afternoon is Heath Montgomery, Director of Public Relations for LAX. Heath, thank you for being with us. Thank you for having me. First, Heath, how is this year shaping up compared mm -hmm. to last year and pre-pandemic travel? Yeah, I think there can be no doubt that we're getting back into the swing of a very busy holiday season at LAX. I mean, you just heard the numbers. We're going to have peak days over the next three or four weeks with 200,000 people a day. Uh, that includes tomorrow and every Sunday from now until New Year's. So compared to last year, it is about twice as busy. We had about four and a half million people come through for the winter holidays uh, in 2019. So we're still down about a million from where we were at our high water mark in 2019. But at the same time, this is the busiest we have been since early 2020. Sure. So you're heading down to the airport. Heath, what's your best advice for travelers that are going to LAX during the holidays? Yeah, I think you heard part of it. I mean, there's there's going to be traffic. Uh, we are expecting over 90,000 vehicles a day on our peak days. That means that it's going to take some time to circumnavigate the uh, horseshoe there. Uh, a good piece of advice for people is to use the lower levels. That's uh, traditionally mm -hmm. the arrivals level. but it is usually a little bit faster to use versus the departures level level on the upper deck. Uh, so that's one thing people can do to save some time. Another thing that's very important is to book your parking ahead of time. One thing that happened during the Thanksgiving holiday is a lot of our parking just about nearly full uh, uh, got full. So one thing you can do is use our website. We have a new system in place this holiday parking.flylax.com. You can actually book your exact space in advance and you get a discount if you book ahead of time. So there's there's double incentive there. Yeah. Heath, how's the parking situation at the airport and are you adding shuttle services for the holidays? Right, so our parking earlier today, we had two of the central terminal area garages get full. And right now we have several of the garages that are fluctuating between 80 and 90% full. That changes throughout the day, depending on where people are going and, and the time of day. But we do expect all of our parking to get very busy again. The new economy lot is one of our best options. It added 4,000 new spaces. And you ask about shuttles, that actually has a dedicated shuttle that uses a dedicated lane that avoids all of the traffic inside the terminal area. So not only is that a great option if you're going to park there, but maybe you're dropping somebody off or picking somebody up. You can also use that shuttle to go out to the economy lot instead of pick up or drop off within the terminal area itself. That could also be a big time saver this year. Indeed. And Heath, how are the uh, new COVID testing rules for international travels affecting the holiday rush there at LAX? Well, we've expected to see holiday travel increase, especially among uh, our international audience, especially after the federal government lifted a lot of those travel restrictions that were in place uh, in uh, early November. So we have seen those numbers go up over the last few weeks. About four weeks ago, we were seeing about 13,000 international passengers per day come into LAX. Now those numbers are getting closer to 18,000 on our busiest days. We do think those numbers will continue to grow. At the same time, there have been some changes. Now everybody who's coming into the United States, regardless of your citizenship or where you're coming from, has to provide proof of a negative COVID-19 test within 24 hours mm -hmm. of actually boarding your aircraft. That's a tighter restriction than it has been. It used to be within 72 hours. Right. So the number one thing you can do if you have family or friends coming in or you're traveling internationally is get with your airline and understand the testing requirements and the timing requirements because the rules today may not be the rules tomorrow. All right. right, Heath mm -hmm. Montgomery from LAX. Thank you all so much for all of that information. We really appreciate yep. your time. Thank, Thank you. you.